Yes, yes, welcome in everyone. So one burner bachelor, 37 steps up high above the city. So I'm not a weatherman. I did that video this morning, setting up outside. Doesn't look like it's gonna rain to me. And within an hour, um, it was raining like this. So I've moved it inside and waited a little while. I did move the our awesome sign in, Fancy Ghost Nation. No update yet on a on a new venue if there is one. The special thanks to board. Pictures are back in, the one Verna Bachelor. So Angelo says to me, <laughs> he goes, Hey Dad, he said, little kids like Halloween, right? And I said, Yes. And little kids like to wear costumes. I said, Yes. And little kids have a costume party in their classroom every Halloween, don't they? And I said, yes, we did as a kid. And he said, well, then why don't you ask the people or anybody that knows a teacher that teaches kids, no matter how old they are, even high school kids, that would be great. And if the whole classroom decides to become fancy Ghost Nation members of the One Burner Bachelor and send me a video or a picture or something, we'll make something crazy out of it. I'm like, wow, Angelo, yes. And then he said, and you know what, Dad? And I said, what, bud? Keep going. Please tell me. He's, a, he's resting right now from all of this. He goes, why don't we have the One Burner Bachelor Fancy Ghost Nation costume party the last day of every month? We don't want to have all this fun and all this good ideas and stuff for just one day a year. So let's just do the last day of the month. Wow. All right. So... There you go. Please get in groups of people and take your pictures or videos. Roland781 Bellier at gmail.com. I might write that down at some point if anyone asks to repeat that, but maybe I will by the end of the episode. Send me photos, send me your awesome videos. We'll, we'll definitely do something with them because I think this could be a lot of fun. Fancy ghost. Bed sheets, silk sheets, tablecloths, shower curtains. The kids can just make their own, and they can be ponchos, as we mentioned. So if some younger guy or this or that, or for some reason doesn't want his, anything over his head, you don't have to. So the one burner bachelor, that's what we're doing. And so in kind of a Halloween sort of thing, I guess, I kind of wanted to neaten up my chair in my cooking area a little bit. And, and even though I try to keep the... Let me look outside here while it's raining. Even though I try to keep the white rung white rungs white this splatter and stuff on them so i needed something to fix it with so as i was thinking i found a a green t-shirt of mine that fit over the chair and i can put this wood my favorite weapon of choice my wooden spoon and my awesome spatula in the shirt pocket and put the, <laughs> put the two sets of tongs and of course, I'll have to put that shirt in the laundry, but I don't mind doing my laundry. So, all right. So, very cool. I don't think you've ever seen one like that. Another first, maybe, on the One Burner Bachelor. So, with my favorite weapon of choice, my wooden spoon, what's in the pot right now is... Don't give me soft carrots. I know, Laurie, but I had to use them up. So, what's in there is soft carrots, kind of cut, you know, you see how they're, they're cut, and an onion, cut kind of small. In there and the juice that they're actually simmering in and now and getting soft in because it does take a while to soften carrots and onions is actually the juice from these two cans of the clover valley whole corn no salt added whole kernel corn that angelo opened for me because they're not pull tabs and that was another thing that kind of wore them out today so that's what i'm letting go on in there now it's a great day for soup papers don't play till four this should be well ready by that and i'll drop it off to some peeps, or maybe this will get me an invitation to watch the game somewhere. We'll be back, everybody, with 37 steps up high above the city. That's right, I'm no weatherman. <laughs> Just quickly on that. So I was walking to the Dollar General today to go get a couple of things for today's episode after I unpack things up after the rain. And I was walking along, and a gentleman with an Irish accent, are you headed to that meeting, are you? He said to me, and I was carrying a cup of coffee, and I, and I said, what? Is, are you asking that because I'm drinking coffee? He said, yes. I said, no, actually, I'm heading to the store. He goes, oh, okay. So we started chatting for a minute about the weather, or, or somehow I brought it up. I said, oh. I said, so I'm sure no weatherman. I didn't think it was going to rain this morning. And he says, well, yeah, you never know. And I said, you know, those weathermen, they kind of have it made. Whether they're right or wrong, they get paid. And he says, yes, and there'll always be weather. 
So I thought that was very cool. And it was very nice because on the way back, his meeting had been canceled. And uh, we chatted for a minute, and I told him about the One Burner Bachelor, and I gave him a card that Angelo had written YouTube One Burner Bachelor on, which many people have, with the uh, clover, Lucky Clovers and baseball insignia on the back. There's more to come on that. That's why I sent those out there also. And, um, yeah, and he was going to share it with his daughter, and uh, she likes cats. And Okay, so we'll go from there. So just another peek at the sign. Fancy Ghost Nation. Join the nation. This could be something really fun. We'll be back. Yes, yes, we're back. One burner back to our 37 steps up high above the city. A uh, hi to anybody new that might be watching for the first time. I don't think I've said that before. Uh, thanks. You never know. All right. So we're coming back here. We've got our carrots and our onions soft enough. Oh, does it smell good in here? I might even wear that T-shirt afterwards. It's going to smell so good. <laughs> that was a good one. But look at that. The, the spatula and the wooden spoon in the pocket, the tongs right there. Okay, so onions and carrots, and they're simmering in corn niblet juice. No salt added, whole kernel corn niblet. So that's what we're going to do right now, is we're going to get two cans of corn in there. So corn, and I'm grabbing the wooden spoon there out of the pocket. So corn is, as you see now, one of the big parts of this. Doesn't make it corn chowder only, as we learned before. Oh, and my friend Val. Hi, Val. We chatted about Val before. We're always thinking about her and her family. Um, she, on my regular text phone, commented on the turkey smoked sausage chowder with corn chowder with mushrooms. That um, actually her comment was, my husband loves every single ingredient in that. Um, I'm going to make him watch the show and then I'm going to try to make this for him. So, thanks, Val. So, anyways, there's the corn niblets. All right. Oh, oh, I'll put it back in the pocket. See, i got to get used to that. I must put it down on the, down here. So, now, of course, as we mentioned before, in any chowder, you need potatoes. And as we learned before, this can of loaded potato with bacon and other natural flavors worked very well. So, that's in there. And now, Progresso also, rich and hearty New England clam chowder. So, yep, on this awesome, on this cold day, on an awesome day, as the fancy ghost nation starts to get into, oh, what a ghost do across the sky. Uh, we'll have to use that term. We'll have to learn something. So, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Now, if, if this is too thick, because I'm not a thick, thick chowder person per se, and don't forget, the only water liquid in there is the water from those two cans of corn and any moisture that comes off the carrots and the onions from cooking and the moisture from the chowder and the uh, loaded potato soup. So it's it's off to a thick start. If, um, if I need to thin it out, I'll probably cocktail some water between the two chowders, you know, because I kind of want to get the rest of those yum, yummies out of there anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to rinse the, my cans out a little bit, cocktail them back and forth to get some, get a little more liquid to put in that. We're going to put the, keep that on a lower heat because we had it up pretty high to get the onions and the carrots going. Okay, we'll be back. Love you, Angelo. Great advice. Hyde Park Emergency Food Pantry. Support your local food pantry. They all need help. Thank you, Janet. We'll be back. Okay, yes, yes, we're back. One burner bachelor. Okay, so this is too thick for me, as I say. So both of my chowder cans have been all cleaned out and rinsed, and this is just about half a can of water that I cocktailed back and forth between those two cans just to get all the last bit of juice out of them. Now, you know, one thing I have to think about now with this shirt here, if I do put it on to wear it around because it smells good, I need to rinse the spoon off every time before I put it back in the pocket. So I'm probably not going to wear it. And if I don't rinse it off before I put it back in the pocket, I'm going to have to wash that T-shirt every day. I don't even wash my own T-shirts every day. Oh, wait, did I say that? Okay, everyone, there it is. Soft carrots, onions, fresh. Two cans of no-salt added corn niblets, some New England clam chowder, and a can of loaded potato soup with bacon. All right, the only moisture, the moisture from the corn niblets, and that half a can of water that I just uh, 
cocktail back and forth to add to the soup. Okay, friends, join the Fancy Ghost Nation. Send me some pictures. Send me some costumes. Spread the word. Have your whole class. This is something I've made up. You don't have to Google Fancy Ghost Nation to get it to, to find a, uh, a costume. This is your imagination. Grab whatever you can. Be fancy and have fun. Hyde Park Emergency Food Pantry. Nobody wins until everybody wins. See you next time, everybody.